Hey everybody, it's your man James, uh, back again with some more comic reviews for you here. Uh, hope this uh, finds you doing okay, uh, and that things are doing, you know, going well for you. Um, maybe a little something to help you get through the day and uh, get your mind off your troubles. So, let's get right to it. Uh, I've got here today is uh, Gold Key Alliance number 2 by Phil Hester and Brent Peebles. Uh, Gold Key is referring to the former comic company of the... 60s and early 70s who had such characters as Turok, Magnus Robot Fighter, um, Mighty Samson, and Solar Man of the Atom, who were coincidentally also in this book. And this is being done through Dynamite Entertainment from uh, 2016. Uh, yep, 2016. And... Basically, this is a storyline where they've got the whole sort of overarching theme where each character is going through his own adventure, but it's all supposedly tied together by a big overarching threat. So let's uh, check it out here. And uh, right from the start, you got this right here. You know, let the alliance begin. Magnus, a secret agent of sorts, monitoring the rise of military, artificial intelligence, and robotics around the globe. Turok a reality television star and tribal park ranger in charge of some rather unique specimens. Solar, a young doctor on a mission of mercy in impoverished part of Africa. Samson, the homeless man, a homeless man ranting at unseen monsters on the street of, streets of Manhattan, all drawn together by a force that threatens to tear not only our world apart, but the every possibility, every possible world of the multiverse. Now, if you wonder why I had to hit you with all that, it'll become apparent in a moment. Okay, so, because the way this story is structured is, it's all sort of chaptered out by each character. So here we start out with uh, Turok doing a little uh, dinosaur uh, taming, I guess you could say. And, you know, got the little woman here and she, it turns out she's a, uh, a traitor to the people because, you know, he, has to end up putting the dinosaur down and you know, damn it Tossie, you know I'm going to have to put her down now. Once they've killed a human being, good, put her down. Put them all down. So she wanted one of the animals killed, but he doesn't know why. So it's a mystery of what made this person turn traitor and what their overall plan was. Then we cut over to Magnus who is finding about a conspiracy that's going on inside the uh, government where his uh, partner Leisha has been captured by robots and replaced by one that he guess I guess he found out last issue and so now he's trying to find out what the robots plan is when uh-oh because he wants to start living up to his name and we cut away again here this this is Solar Man, or I guess it's a woman of the Atom. Here she is uh, putting together a contraption to help the people, you know, in Africa. You know, timber companies, you mean, or perhaps mine owners. Don't try to pretend you're representing these people when you come here to starve them out. So she's using her technical know-how to create devices to help the impoverished people in Africa. And, of course, you got your Robert Mugabe-type you know, corrupt African leader who calls in the military to uh, sort of put Solar on notice that she's not going to be allowed to do that. And then we cut away again to uh, Samson's story where here he is, he's hallucinating here. You know, this is, what he's, this is what he's seeing and this is what reality actually is. You can see he keeps going back and forth in his head. So his friends take out the cops and try to help him... Uh, regain his memory and yeah some more a little bit of action here with uh, Magnus doing some actual robot fighting before a uh, robot comes to help him escape and then Solar launches herself into action and I'm just gonna read this because it, it, it just so stymied me. There was an accident, a meltdown at, a nuclear, at an experimental nuclear facility where I worked. I put on my containment suit and ran toward the problem. 
I thought I could stop it. I trusted my intellect. I was wrong. The exotic energies released was so intense it melted the containment suit to my body. It changed me, maybe even killed me, but I persisted. What I am now, what you saw in the tent, is a construct. Particles gathered from the air around me, comprised and rearranged to approximate the body I once had, a ghost made of dust. But this, this is what I truly look like, what I truly am. Tell me, Mr. Minister, am I still beautiful? So, you know, and then again, back to Samson, still down in the subways of New York, hallucinating. And he takes a running jump onto the train tracks with a train coming down, and then this. Now, is this a hallucination? Is this, is this really happening? You know, is it just his mind telling him that the dinosaur there while the pain's bearing down on him? What, what, you know, did, yeah, no, no explanation is given. Of course not. Then uh, we cut back to Turok, who's once again trying to figure out who's the person responsible for turning his friend traitor against him at the beginning there. And it ends with this. Who is this guy? Is he the one to turn a traitor? Is he the one that's supposed to be the overarching threat through all these uh, different stories? Is, is, what's the meaning of this? No, no, no answers there either, you know. This, this is utter garbage. The way they laid this out, the way they did this, it's just total and utter trash. I mean, it's, you know, I have a knowledge of the Gold Key characters. I know who they are, I know what they're about. This story was impenetrable to me. I had no idea what was going on or why, how these threads interconnect, I mean, there is just no... The closest we get to any story is the Turok one. Is the only one to have any kind of progression of any kind. And again, you saw that, that final splash. It was... It meant nothing. Who, you know, it, there was no explanation given on why that guy was important or anything. Nothing. You know, the Solar one really ticks me off because, once again, it's... Let's make her a black woman. Why? My diversity. Well, we don't need a reason. You know, and again, the splash of... Her being, I guess, deformed, although it doesn't look just like her, her suit was crumpled up a bit. You know, I mean, it was a little too big for her. I don't know. It, is that supposed to be some kind of shock? Because it wasn't. You know, the Samson story is a mess. You don't know what's real and what isn't. And, you know, the whole thing with Magnus, again, you know, what's the conspiracy? Why are the robots doing it? No, no, we don't give you any of that. Hester, Hester and Peebles, you know, every, everybody involved in this, you know, they should be forever in any convention they go to. They should be put at the front of the show, lined up, and apologize to every person that comes in for creating tripe like this. This is horrible. Even even the cover art here by uh, by who is it here? Uh, Felipe Massaferia. You know, it, it's it's just nothing. It's I mean, look at this. The the colors. I mean, everything has a reddish hue. It's it's it blends together. You know, here's, you, you know, you can see, you can kind of see, if you get really close, you can kind of see there's details in his uniform, but, you know, if you look at it from a, a distance, but you can't even tell the details, you know, and, 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 and his pose, look, look, look at his pose, he's, the way he's like, he's, was he jumping off the dinosaur or what, and, and the way his legs are, when he goes to land, he's going to break both his ankles like this, I mean, it's horrible, horrible, I mean, and, and you know, the backgrounds are all blurry and nondescript. I mean, there is nothing on this cover that's any good, except maybe maybe the dino head. So, yeah, good job, Felipe. Good job. You did a great job doing a dinosaur head. That's a really cool uh, T-Rex, but it, it just blends in with everything else because of the coloring. It's horrible. And, you know, Brent Peebles, you know, isn't any, really any better. I mean, look at it. It's flat angle. Flat angle. Flat angle. Flat angle. Flat angle. I mean, there's there's no there's no dynamism to any of this. You know, it, it's just it's just flat angle after flat angle. I mean, it's almost like coloring book art. I mean, look at this. You know, if you remove the color in here, you could turn that into a coloring book panel. I mean, that's how that's how bland and 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 static and stiff this all is. I mean, this this is an atrocity. This 
This is a disservice to the characters. This is a disservice to readers. This is a disservice to, to, to Gold Key. It's a disservice to Dynamite. It's a, this is a disservice to everybody. This, this is the kind of thing where, like, you know, who is the person who greenlit this? Who looked at this book and said, hey, this is a good idea. Let's publish this. You know, your boy Zach has a line where he says, you know, nothing matters. It, it, who, who cares? It, nothing matters. This, this is the antithesis of nothing matters. You know, there is no story here. I can't even grade it on a story because there isn't one. There are fragments of things that, that don't connect, that don't make any sense. And if you haven't read the previous issue, you have no knowledge of anything. It, it's it, Like I said, it's an impenetrable story. And this is for someone with knowledge of the characters. I can imagine what somebody who's totally fresh, who's never read anything Gold Key, never read any of these characters in Valiant or anywhere else they were ever published. I can imagine what it would be like for them coming into this. This, yeah, this, no, this is... I mean, I thought the Flash Gordon issue I read was bad. Oh my God! And there was at least something of a story put into that. This is this is this is I, this is the bottom of the barrel. Zero, zero out of ten on this, and I only give it a zero because I can't give it negative numbers. This is trash. This is if you see this book in a store, take it out and burn it. Don't even ask for the the, the, the permission of the store owner. Just take it and burn it, and then tell them to thank you later. This. This is everything that is wrong with comics. It, it's, there's no passion here. There's no story here. There's no talent here. There's no effort here. It's just slapdash, throw it out there just to, to, to what, flood the shelves, just to get a name out there. I, don't, I have no idea. There was no reason to make this book. Absolutely zero. Absolutely zero. So, yeah, this is, this is the hardest pass possible. You know, if you see this book, burn it. Burn it. I mean, I'm thinking of burning this copy myself. That's how bad this is. So just don't don't waste your time. Don't even try. You know, it's obviously the people who who made this book. You know, you know they didn't try. They put they put no effort in. Just just cranking it out. Just getting a paycheck. It's no 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 no. Horrible horrible horrible. Dynamite, you should be ashamed of yourselves. The creators, you need to be ashamed of yourselves. We, readers, everybody, anyone who had to read this is owed an apology on every level. This is horrible. There's not enough horrible to, to tell you how horrible this is. That's, that's the bottom line. So yeah, definitely, definitely don't even give this one a look. Don't even waste your time. Don't even look at the cover. Well... That'll about do it for this review. Um, if you like what you heard, <laughs> hit me up in the comments below. If you didn't like what you heard, hit me up in the comments below. Make sure to smash that like button and smash that, uh, hit that uh, subscribe button so you can stay up on all the new reviews and other things I post up. And I'll be back later with uh, more videos and reviews for you very soon. Until then, take care.